Hello, hello. How are y'all today on this lovely Saturday evening? Um, Dolly here. I am uh, making some apple banana muffins. They only have seven, eight ingredients. I modified the original recipe a little bit. You can see all of my dirty dishes behind me. Yikes. Um, so I modified this recipe a little bit, but I wanted to show y'all the recipe because it's like super yummy and my kids love it and it doesn't have a bunch of bad stuff in it, oils and different things, and it's actually healthy for them to eat in the morning. It's something that's easy to grab um, to eat in the morning or to take with you to work. We have a stock show coming up this next weekend, so I am actually uh, multiplying the recipe by four in order to make sure that I have some. Hey Johnny, so make sure that I have some for the stock show this week so that I can pack them and I'll know that I have something good to eat because there's just not much that's good to eat at a stock show, right? So I want to tell you all about um, this recipe. So it starts out with eggs and since I've multiplied it by four, I actually have lots of eggs here. It calls for two, you can't really see that, but it calls for two eggs and then it calls for a cup of mashed ripe banana says it's approximately two medium bananas. So I have eight bananas mashed and ready to go. It's like the lighting is off or something. There you go. Um, so that's the bananas. And then it calls for a tablespoon of unsalted organic grass-fed butter melted. So I actually multiply that by four. So I have four tablespoons there. So you combine those wet parts into the bowl. And I don't know if y'all know this, but I mashed the banana with a fork for the longest time. I would not do that. And I do it with the back of a spoon. And I was like, holy cow, this is hard to do until I realized that you should do it with a fork. You should make these, Johnny. They would be so good for when y'all are, um, you know, doing your animal thing. It would help a lot. Um, I think they are delicious. And then, so once we have those things together... Then we, um, combining almond flour and baking soda and sea salt. Now, let me tell you about the almond flour for a second because I kind of had to research this myself. Um, this is the almond flour that I use. I look for almond flour that is super fine. See that right there? And then I get the blanched. The reason I get the blanched is technically a little bit more processed than the unblanched, um, but the blanched is better for baking. Um, it doesn't have the color of the skins. It's basically like they, they flash heat it and they get the skins off of the almonds. Um, so it's okay. It doesn't change the nutrition in the almonds for the most part. So it's better for baking to get the blanched. And then you want to try to find a brand that is super fine. If it's too coarse, I've bought some before that was too coarse and it changes the way that it bakes when you're using it for baking. So those are two things to look for with the almond flour. And then um, I kind of modified the recipe by also adding cinnamon. So I add a teaspoon of cinnamon per recipe. So I multiplied that times four. Um, that was per my kids' request. They love the muffins. But they're like, these would taste better if you have a little bit of cinnamon. So I've been adding cinnamon for a while. Hey, Tammy. Um, and that um, gives it a little bit more flavor. So I have mixed up here the almond flour, the baking soda, uh, the cinnamon and then it calls for a dash of salt and I was just telling Dustin this as I was putting the dash of salt in here that it bugs me when I have recipes that don't give me a measurement because I'm like what is a dash what if you had like huge fingers and you're trying to put in a dash to me it's too too much of a of a thing that could be like subjective so it kind of bugs me when I don't have measurements but I did what I could I did a dash um, hopefully it wasn't too much so I mixed all those things in before I um, mixed them together, the dry stuff, before I started chatting with you. Um, so once I get this all mixed, because I'm doing four times the amount that it calls for, um, it take me a little bit longer. But for the amount of the almond flour, you want to do one and a half cups of almond flour um, for the regular recipe, and then three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda and then a dash of sea salt, and then I did a teaspoon of cinnamon, if you are interested in having that. And then when you're done getting this all mixed up, 
Then you add uh, cut up apples and it calls for half of a cup. So I have two cups, hey Jackie. Um, I have two cups of apples here. I have always um, peeled, the, peeled the apples and cut them, but I actually watched um, this recipe being made and realized that you could put, you can leave the, the peeling on and then it actually gives it more of a nutritional value. And then it'll also give it like a little bit more like your body will take longer to digest it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And so that, um, you know, will make it kind of like stay with you longer, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, so once I get this all mixed up, I am going to put it into my muffin pan. And I use these little um, muffin liners. They're uh, chef paper, I guess is what it says. Paper chef. Um, but it, they're parchment paper. So if you don't use cups that are parchment paper, then you want to spray them with a little bit with um, like a spray oil so that they don't stick to the um, actual cup thing as much. But with the parchment paper, you don't really have to do that. So um, I don't spray them and I, I kind of like to not have to have that extra oil added to the recipe. So. That is the basics of the recipe. Once you've put it into the cup, um, it says to, let's see, what do you fill it? Three quarters of a cup full which each, with each one of those cups, and it makes nine muffins. So, you know, you kind of give and take. If you're making just the one recipe, um, just fill it up and divide it between nine muffins, and then bake it for 18 to 22 minutes at 350 degrees. And one of those muffins is equal to a fruit serving and a healthy fat serving. There's no carbohydrates in it. There's nothing that um, is gonna like set you back on what you're eating. It is a good muffin to eat. And I grew up eating muffins that did not really have much nutritional value to them. So I love these because they taste good. The kids like them, the kids will eat them. They're portable, I can pack them, I can freeze them. Um, so they really are all around a really good yummy muffin. So if you have any questions about that, um, let me know. Sorry about my dirty kitchen behind us, but um, if you have any questions, let me know. Super duper yummy recipe. If y'all watch this, give me a hi so I know that you're here. And um, if you wanna know more about it, feel free to comment below and I will be happy to chat with you. All right, so y'all have a great night. Talk to you soon.